The episode's called Drink Destinations San Francisco. Yes. And <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we had to cross over the Bay Bridge <laughs> yes. and come on the Oakland side uh -huh. because I think there would be a lot of people that would be pissed off in the industry if I did yeah. not talk about yes. you. She's a pioneer and a legend already. She's done some pretty stellar things for this industry. Jen's awesome. Always been really progressive, not just in style of cocktailing, but uh, the way she runs the place. She started um, her, her company, Small Hand Foods, and make the best bottled orgeat on the market, yeah. period. So she really brought that whole nother level of entrepreneurship uh, outside of the bar world within the bar world, yeah. it's really cool. And she does really unique sections in the menu, like drinking traditions around the world. From the things that she did under the Long Now Foundation at the Interval to her new bar in Oakland, to just doing some really cool things. I think the episodes now, like we were talking, is gonna be called Drink Destinations Bay Area. That sounds great. I went to bartending school in LA when I was 21 years old. I was also like really into furniture and into art and stuff. Aside from when I was a full-time cabinet maker, every time else when I was back in school, I would support myself by bartending. I kind of inadvertently stumbled into my syrup company, Small Hand Foods. It was really just this fun way of exploring and I loved to cook. I had a, a huge sweet tooth when I was a kid and I used to make candy. What embodies kind of the Bay Area? Right. I mean, it has to be the Mai Tai, yeah. for sure. Yeah, so the traditional Mai Tai was created in uh, 1944 at the original Trader Vic's. But Trader Vic uh, was kind of the Bay Area's um, major tiki influence, and he owned a bar there called Hinky Dinks. Okay. And then when Don the Beachcomber o opened up Don the Beachcomber down in yeah. L.A., yeah. um, Vic Bergeron went down there, checked out what he was doing, came back and said, we're changing this. The Mai Tai is squeeze the lime half into a jigger and then put that into the tins. We're doing three quarters ounce of lime juice and then we're doing a half ounce of Cointreau, a half ounce of Orgeat, which is this almond syrup, and then an ounce and a half of rum. I really like using the Appleton. Then I just shake everything over ice and then we do what's called a dirty dump, where we dump everything into the glass rather than most shaken drinks, because you're gonna be breaking up the ice as you shake it, you will strain it over fresh ice. Then the, the traditional garnish, you have to prop up the spent lime half and then put a sprig of mint and it's supposed to look like a deserted island with a palm tree. <laughs> One of the things that has been talked about for a while mm -hmm. that we're now starting to see more of mm -hmm. is an actual concentration on hospitality. Me and Virginia were walking down through the streets of San Francisco and one of the things we said is, I would rather have an average drink with, in better, a, service. with better service and experience yeah. than a great one with lack of that, you know what I mean? And I, I think that's so, so important. I mean, that's the thing I concentrate on constantly here. Part of good customer service is making all kinds of people feel comfortable.